Hey everyone, it's John here from Hot Hockey, back with another video, and this video is going to be my 2021 World Junior Championship predictions, the best hockey prospects coming together from different countries to compete. It only happens once a year, around the holidays we come together, and this tournament gets me really excited to watch the best hockey prospects, and it really gives us an insight on how uh, prospects for certain NHL teams are doing. And every year I think uh, coming together for this channel and being able to stream, yes, I will be streaming for so many games every day, multiple games per day on a lot of days. So if you are new to the channel, I hope to see you more on videos and streams. Please smash the like button and definitely leave your thoughts and your predictions in the comment section. So I'm going to get right into it and give my group uh, predictions for the standings. So this is how I see it going down. Group A, probably the weaker division. Canada 1, Finland 2, Germany 3, Switzerland 4, Slovakia 5. I think for Slovakia, for me, they have a couple pieces. I don't know if they have too much to get excited about. Uh, I would look to Switzerland and maybe have a couple more pieces there. Uh, Germany, really unfortunate. A couple players go down uh, with COVID and they're unable to participate in this tournament. But I still have them... Uh, finishing in the top three, at least in the top four in this group, in my opinion. Tim Stutzel to lead the way. Number two, Finland. They still got some pieces. I think they are a little weaker in comparison uh, to other years, in comparison to last year. But uh, Anton Lundell, Raddy, I'm looking for a couple guys in this team. And Canada is just stacked. Uh, they got um, a stacked top line. The depth is crazy up front. Uh, maybe a little more inexperienced on the second half of their defense group. But Jamie Drysdale's out to prove Bowen Byram to lead the way on the defensive side. Uh, and obviously the goaltending is maybe a question mark. But then you go on the other side, goaltending is not a question mark for the U.S. Uh, I'm going to be making a video uh, as I make this video over the next day or two on players to watch. So I won't go into specifics, but the U.S. have the goaltending. We know what Spencer Knight can do, and they have options behind him. Sweden. I'm really excited about what Sweden can offer. I think with Holtz and Lucas Raymond leading the way, Russia at three in this group. I think Skarov is going to show what kind of goaltender he is in this tournament, uh, and they have a couple weapons up front. And Austria, I think they don't have a lot, but I think they could be a surprise team in the group and get one of those upset wins that we see sometimes uh, every tournament. So uh, they got Marco Rossi. We know what Rossi can do. And this is no disrespect to Czech Republic. I'm just leaving a little bit of a hot take. I think a lot of people are expecting Austria to finish fifth in this group. I'm going to have them finish fourth and advance out of the group stage. And that brings us to the quarterfinals. So I have Canada, obviously A1 versus Austria B4. So you see how it works. Canada, Austria, Finland, Russia, Sweden, Germany, USA, Switzerland. Wow. That quarterfinal matchup, Finland, Russia. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then uh, we'll see if Germany could maybe look for an upset against Sweden. Uh, but that that goes to this, the semifinals where um, I do believe the top four teams coming to this tournament will advance. There's different things I feel like could change this tournament. One, there being no fans. Uh, I think with the World Juniors, it's it's disappointing because with, with this tournament, we see a lot of, I would say, uh, with Canada being the home country here, uh, we see a lot of impact from the fans, and that won't be here. So that's probably the concerning thing for Canada because they always do well at home, and coaching is going to be huge, like the communication with players, uh, but uh, fans won't have an impact here. And uh, for Canada versus Russia, we've seen this matchup time and time again. We've seen USA and Sweden time and time again. We've seen, it's interchangeable, we've seen these four teams face each other uh, so many years in a row in either the quarter, semis, and finals. And uh, in the gold medal game and the bronze medal game, I have Canada versus USA, that uh, ultimate matchup, uh, North America buds, and then the bronze medal game, Sweden versus Russia. So I think with Canada, US, uh, you, you've obviously got uh, the little bit of a weakness or a little bit of a question mark for Canada and goaltending. Uh, but I would say Canada has the better depth up front. And then the bronze medal game, uh, this is no disrespect to Sweden or Russia. I got the Sochi hat on. Sweden, uh, I think, has the advantage here. And uh, Russia, no disrespect, because I think Put Colson's going to prove what kind of prospect he is. I think Amirov, uh, we've talked about how underrated he is. And Askarov will show what he can do. But uh, I have Canada. Winning gold, I have U.S. winning silver and Sweden winning bronze. Um, I honestly could see U.S. winning this. I could see Sweden winning this. It, this one's tough. Uh, I just think, again, with no fans, it, it did make me question if Canada was going to win this. Uh, I am confident in Canada's ability to win this tournament, but it may come down to goaltending. And it, honestly, 
this is just straight up. If I'm going to bet on anyone on Canada in terms of goaltending or the goaltender in USA or a goaltender in Sweden or a goaltender in Russia, and you'll see it. I'm not going to spoil which goalies they are, but uh, that's in my players to watch video, and all three goalies are probably going to be up there for best goalies in this tournament. I don't know if Canada has that. So that's the concern coming in. But Canada gold, USA silver, bronze to Sweden. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. If you like this kind of content, again, I will be making a players to watch video for the World Juniors. Uh, smash the like button. And uh, I just want to see your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. Uh, who do you think is going to win the 2021 World Juniors in the Edmonton bubble. This was John from Montek Hockey. I hope to see you all soon. Again, I will be streaming a lot every day. So if you come to this channel during a big game in the World Juniors, I'll most likely be live. And I hope to see you there. All right. Have a good one. Peace out.